This demo is going to be a uh, full face drawing, how to get that onto your format. So here is my photograph that I'm going to be working from, and this is how you start. The first thing you're going to do is begin by making a mark for the top of the head, and I'm going to say maybe 11 or 12. So inches down will be the mark for my chin. Once I've got that, I'm going to draw my axis line that will divide the head in half. So that's, that's the size of the face from here to here. The next mark I'm going to find is the halfway mark. I'm going to guesstimate that for the first. I'm going to put a line and I'm gonna to check to see if that's halfway. If it's not, adjust it, make adjustments. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's the eye line right in here. The next mark I'm gonna make is about quarter of an inch down and that's going to be the hairline and where the brow goes. This is the eyebrow area. I'm going to take that measurement and I'm going to bring that down to about here for the nose. So I'm going to take this on him. I'm going to measure from the brow, from the brow to the bottom of the nose, from the brow to the bottom of the nose. Okay. And then there should be approximately another third of an inch. So I'm going to make some adjustments, we'll lower this a little bit, raise that up a little bit, and now I have my measurements. The next I'm going to take from here to here, and I'm going to divide into thirds. Let's see. Okay, the mouth line is going to be within that first third. All right, so I've got the placement of the features this way. Now I want to make the mark for the width of the face. So I'm going to measure at the widest point, and I'm going to include the ears here. Well, now I think I won't. I'll just do the widest portion between the ears. And I will compare it. widest portion, compare, come back here, take that width measurement that I saw, and I'm going to find about a halfway mark. Let's see. Let's see if this is even. That's not quite. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit and this over a little bit. I'm going to take that measurement and I'm going to test it. Ah, perfect. Okay, so that's the width of the face at that point. Before I get too much further along, I'm going to draw that envelope. I'm going to look at this from the hair, really look at angles, look at relationships, His ears come in right about here, and they end right about there. And I'm looking at this negative space. And I'm bringing it into the chin, looking at where that starts yet right to starts to move. 
I'm going to look to see where is the neck connected here, right about there. Look at this negative space to see the shoulder connection. I'm going to continue. I don't see any neck, but where do, where is that neck con connecting here? It connects with the shoulders. So now I have that envelope um, to begin. Next, I'm going to look at some shapes. Look at the way the hair breaks into the forehead. Look at the shape of this area and this area. And I'm going to start to define those spaces. Look at the shape. Check the width. Measure if you have to. So at this point now I have the general envelope completed and I can begin to put in some of the features. So I'm going to start with the brow area and put those eyebrows in. They're very important. How far over did they go? Okay, here. Um, get that shape, at least that angle. I'm looking at the negative spaces between things. All right, before I get too much further with that, I do want to start to put in some width things. So I'm going to put in his nostrils. And I'm going to guesstimate that. And I'm going to see if the width that I've created will fit five times across. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to say one, two, three. So I know that that'll fit. One, two, And I've got the width of the nose, the width of the eyes. And I'm going to come down to see where's that mouth. So in that first third of the eye, I'm going to come down to get the width of the mouth. And I can start with those areas. <clears throat> 